video guys, so I want to talk to you about um, my discoveries with eyes and the liver and the connection between the two. Uh, it's me, no, I didn't come up with this obviously, this is an ancient principle from the Taoists, the ancient Chinese, um, the eyes and the liver being intimately linked. Which to be honest with you, I didn't really believe um, until I tried it, until I tried the eye exercises and then I started to notice um, the same activation of the liver feeling that I get when I activate my liver in other ways. Um, one way you can activate the liver is by wiggling your toes. Just when you're lying in bed, wiggle your big toes for like 10-20 seconds. Just wiggle them. And then stop, and then you'll feel um, your liver vibrating. Uh, sounds crazy. It really does sound crazy, but you can try it and you can feel your liver vibrating and being enhanced as you wiggle your toes. So that's one way it does it, um, and I got that same feeling when I did my eye exercises, really simple, left to right, keeping your head still, so, extreme left, extreme right, head still, just keep doing that, you can do it slow, or you can do it quick, that's the best one, why is that the best eye exercise, because what do you do when you um, go into REM sleep, there's the deep sleep, and there's the REM sleep, REM sleep is when we dream, and your eyes go from left to right really quickly. Doesn't go up and down. Doesn't go near in focus. Goes left to right. So the best eye exercise if you've got no time is just to go left to right, left to right, left to right. Okay, there's a couple of points that I've been thinking about related to my personal life experiences and just thinking and dwelling on it that can prove that the liver and the eye are intimately linked. One of them is I am I am a person that's damaged, vaccine damaged, because. I wear glasses and I'm short sighted now. Now this happened at 14 when I had a BCG vaccine. And three months after that, from perfect vision, I went short sighted after that vaccine. Now what do vaccines do? They're toxins and heavy metals and all kinds of bullshit. And what organ suffers the most? All organs, all parts of the body suffer from vaccines. But I mean, what part is going to be overloaded with heavy metals? Yeah, that's right. Your detoxification organ, your liver. Your liver's trying to it's just been overloaded. Most people get overloaded based on your previous detoxification as a kid, and that just takes you over the edge. And it took me, unfortunately, as a vaccine damaged person, over the edge. So, vaccine in. Liver can't handle the detoxification required to get rid of the heavy metals. Liver and liver is linked to eyes. Liver fucks up from the vaccine. Guess what? Harry goes short sighted. That's proof number one. I've got my own fucking personal life experience. Is that a coincidence that I'm doing all these eye exercises and I'm learning about the link between the eye and the liver and I got vaccine damaged uh, and he's the one that gets hit the hardest and I got short sighted? Is it all a coincidence, all this stuff I'm learning? I don't think it's a coincidence. I don't think it's a fucking coincidence. I think it's, there's a reason why this, everything's happened to me. A reason for everything I'm learning right now. So that's why. Number two, when we drink alcohol, and we're in ex excess of alcohol, what organ gets damaged the most? Yeah, that's right, the liver. The liver it gets poisoned the most when we drink alcohol. Now bear with me. When you drink a lot of alcohol, you go to sleep quickly, but you get a poor quality sleep. And you get more REM sleep, R-E-M, rapid eye movement sleep, dreaming sleep, and you get less deep sleep. That's why people that get drink too much never have a proper sleep, because they get more REM sleep, dream sleep, and less deep sleep. But why is that? A uh, very simple explanation. Basic shit I've been thinking, I've never heard anyone say. If the eye, like the towers say, is linked to the liver, and when you sleep, you're doing, um, and wait, okay. Eye is linked to liver. You drink too much alcohol, that poisons the liver. Now, if the liver is poisoned because you drank too much alcohol, the reason why we might be getting more REM sleep it's because the REM sleep and more of it when we drunk too much alcohol is healing the liver. Because when we do this with the eyes, either during the day with eye exercises or even during the night unconsciously with REM sleep, when we do this, this phase of our REM sleep, everyone does this. Everyone who goes through a phase of REM sleep, left to right, left to right, when they sleep, that's regenerating the liver as you sleep. And when you drink alcohol, you've just poisoned your liver. Your body knows it's been poisoned. Your liver, the body knows, oh, holy fuck, I've drank too much alcohol. My liver's poisoned. So how does the body's intelligence, the unique fucking intelligence, know how to heal the liver? Well, more of this and less of deep sleep at the cost. 
The body is so fucking clever that it will, it will give you more of the requirements to heal the liver when you poisoned it with alcohol and less of the deep sleep, which is non-regenerative to the liver. Deep sleep is powerful, but for the liver specific to detoxify from all the alcohol you just drunk, you need more of the REM sleep, and that's why it does it. So yeah, those two reasons, um, powerful reasons why I think that I and the, the liver are intimately linked. You can feel it, you can try it yourself, just do like 20 seconds of left to right, left to right, left, stream left, stream right, stream right. And if you want to add on others, you can add on up, down, and down here, just keep going up and down, and also like um, far and near. But if you do that for 20 seconds, you'll feel something crazy going on in your tummy, you'll feel vagus nerve activation, um, parasympathetic nervous system activation, you'll feel relaxed, but also you'll feel your, your liver being enhanced. And in this day and age, when we're bombarded with um, toxicity and our liver is overloaded, I think it's really important to do eye exercises, not just for the benefits of better eyesight, but Hey, if you get if you do something like improve your eye and um, do eye exercises for your eye, why not get an extra benefit of like totally regenerating your liver? You most want to post important detoxification tools. As soon as your liver goes, you're in fucking trouble. If your liver's on fire, you can you can enhance your liver. If, you, if your liver's enhanced, you can take on a lot more toxins. You can uh, get rid of a lot more toxins, basically. So it's all good. Um, yeah, it's really important that people start doing them. I'm going to start doing it, but I think everyone should be doing. 20 seconds to 30 seconds, is that a lot to ask somebody to do eye exercises, eye exercises every day? I also think that, um, I was reading a book that I got the information that the Taoists and the eyes are linked, that people that aren't very clever keep their eyes straight and never really flicker them. don't know if you noticed that about people. Some people, deep thinkers, um, when they're thinking, their eyes will just dart from left to right, left to right, left to right, left to right. You see that in conversation with them, you ask them a question or they're thinking deep, and their eyes will like... But then people that are simple don't have their eyes straight fixed. And I'm one of them. I'm obviously not a very clever person. <laughs> I don't practice eye exercises. Eyes look straight. I never do this with my eyes. But that's another thing. Like, I think eye exercises will make you... This is going to sound crazy. The eye exercises will make you a cleverer person. But I'm just going to put that out there. Like, people that don't move their eyes a lot and don't practice... If you practice your exercises, going to help you with that. It's literally going to make you a clever person. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, anyway. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, if anyone's watching this or not, but hope you got some value, and hope you practice some eye exercises.